Mom, can you go get some coffee? Like, I'm feeling so basic. It tastes like hopes and dreams. Okay, just call me the little engine. That's set. But coffee first. Coffee is life. A yawn is a silent scream for coffee. Coffee is survival juice. I know you hate me. This mess is without coffee. When he a joke, decaf. Again. My day started out great until 9 o'clock. That's when I woke up. My dad said there's two things that would come up in the morning. One, coffee. And two, me being loud. My mom said sometimes she wonders if she had too much coffee. And sometimes she wonders if she had too much kids. Anyways, I go downstairs and guess who's at the door? Karen. She is a complete mess. And I ask her what happened. Of course, she told me her whole life story. Get to the point, Karen. And apparently her boyfriend, Jeff, makes her cry all the time. Ugh, I give them couples therapy before. Sometimes when you're crying, you got to ask yourself, am I dating a boy or an onion? Stop making me cry. It's over, Jeff. So, moral of the story, my life is a mess. I need coffee. Also, humans are weird, and I also want to be a mermaid. We need to have a discussion. Neighbors. We all have them, but we kind of wish we lived here. The best neighbors are the ones that they don't put passwords on their Wi-Fi. Every morning, I wake up to knocking. I'm like, what the heck is that? Oh, it's Bill working on his roof again. Your roof looks fine, Bill. Come fix mine. <sighs> Some people care about their house. Then there's Tara, the party animal. Tara, you're 40 years old. This isn't a sorority. He actually thinks I'm the bad neighbor. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to have fun with my life, and she's trying to ruin it. And I'm not trying. She does bring over muffins to apologize, but they taste like cat hair. She's boring and I don't want boring neighborhoods in my... I'll see you. Whatever. No one cares.